I'm Sasha Rodesky. I'm ABT Studio Company's Artistic Director. My co-host is... Ethan Stiefel, and I'm a teacher and coach at American Ballet Theater. So this week, young spellers from across America would gather to compete in the finals of the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Also this week, audiences would be enjoying performances of ABT's Romeo and Juliet on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera House. Today we celebrate both of these events with the first ever Romeo and Juliet Spelling Bee, with our contestants being none, none other than two of ABT's most beautiful Juliets, our wives, Stella Rera and Jillian Murphy. So there are some rules for the contest, but they're pretty simple. First off, each Juliet that would be either Stella or Jillian, will be given five words to spell and five words only. Second rule, these words are actual words from William Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet. And those are pretty much the rules. Are our competitors ready? Yes. Yes. Let's spell off. We're supposed to flip a toy coin to flip a toin. <laughs> We're supposed to flip a coin to see who goes first, but I just realized I don't have a coin. Okay, so let's get this started. I'm going to be the first one to ask a Juliet, that being Stella to spell a word. Are you ready, Stella? Ready, R-E-A-D-Y, ready. Excellent, good start. Here's the first official word that Excellent. counts. So, please spell mutiny. Mutiny, M-U-T-I-N-Y, mutiny. Correct. Very good. Nice one. Good start. Jim, can you spell the word or the name rosemary? You know, as in parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Do you need me to sing it? I really don't. Thank you, though. I don't know, audience. Okay. What is it, Sasha? What would you like to say? I, I would like to hear you spell it, that's all. Would you like to use it in a sentence? Would you, would you like to have some rosemary added to your roast chicken tonight at dinner? Okay, I think I'm ready now. Rosemary, R-O-S. E M A R Y, Rosemary. Yay! Okay, let's focus, Stella. Uh, let's focus. You're one for one. Now, please, to the best of your ability, spell valiant. Valiant. V A L I A N T. Valiant. One moment, let me check. Yes, correct, correct. He uses that word when referring to me all the time, so it's a very familiar word to her. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Jillian, can you please spell flourishes? The plural Flour of flourish, yes. Flourishes, F-L-O-U-R-I-S-H-E-S, -E flourishes. Nailed it. Sweat. <laughs> You're doing great. All right, let's keep going. The third word, Stella, for you to spell is pernicious. Are you serious? <laughs> the third word for you to spell is pernicious. Nice. 
Pernicious. P E R N I C I O U S. Pernicious. Again, another word she she uses in reference to me. Wait, Ethan sometimes. looks skeptical. Did I mess up? Yeah. What? I... What? I just correct. 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 You are correct. Oh, correct. So much drama. Gosh. Well done. Well done, Stella. There is drama in Roman and Juliet. After all, we may as well go there. True. Julian Murphy. Yes. If you are agreeable to it, would you please, Dane, attempt a spelling of the word assailing? Assailing. A S S A I L I N G. Assailing. You can't stump them, they're too smart. We'll see. Stella, please spell prolixity. What? Is that a medication? Prolixity. <laughs> please spell prolixity. <laughs> okay. Prolixity. Prolixity. Is that correct? Is that yeah. Include. <laughs> okay. Break it down. Is that allowed? Prolix city. P R O L I X I T Y. Prolix city. <laughs> Ethan, come on. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> four for four, one more. Flair for the dramatic oh. over there. Aww, Juliet, X. AKA Jillian. Yes. Why don't you have a go at sententious? Oh boy. <laughs> Can you use that in a sentence, please? Yeah. A smug and sententious writer. Um. Just don't know which letter it starts with. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would say that just like. Why are you pointing at each other? So what's happening? Vice for Stella. You break, you know, it's it's kind of clear. It's logical. It's intuitive. Sententious. 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 Are you guys trying to help me? <laughs> That's so nice. I still don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with sententious. S E N T. E N T I O U S sententious. That's right. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for the help. The obvious thing was helpful. So happy it's you who's doing the spelling, sweet. Okay. Big finish here. Your last word that you need to try to spell correctly, apothecary. <laughs> you Please mean spell apothecary. <laughs> <laughs> they were so helpful to me, and <laughs> you're gonna say that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Now I'm gonna give the Shakespearean <laughs> pronunciation. Okay, most of us know it as apothecary, but if it helps you, I will give you the Shakespearean version because you might know this as a Juliet apothecary. Apothecary. 
Apothecary. You can spell it either as apothecary or apothecary. Either one, oddly enough, the spelling is the same. <laughs> X, your dad is so ridiculous. Yeah! <laughs> Agrees. Okay, All right. Apothecary. A P O T H E C A R Y. Apothecary. Yeah! <laughs> yep, you nailed it. Yay! Way to go, Stella. That was great. And just a helpful thing to remember for the future, you actually spelled two words at once. <laughs> right. Okay. Final word. No, that's all I got. Wait, but one, I started. Two, three. Yeah, I think I have one more. Oh, you're right. You do. <laughs> I skipped one by accident. Okay. So now it's the easy one? Yeah, now it's an easy one. <laughs> So, because the last one was <laughs> real doozy. Jillian. Jillian. Yes. Pray thee to spell, please, jaunting. Jaunting. Yeah. Can jaunting. you use it in a sentence? We, we went to jaunting <laughs> around the fields earlier today. Okay. <laughs> Does the make it worse? It makes it worse, I know. A little bit. <laughs> Jaunting. J A U N T I N G. Jaunting. <sighs> well we have a winner. X. And it's Jillian and Stella. <laughs> And Axe is the lifelong winner, <laughs> obviously. I don't know about all of you watching and playing along with us, but uh, I had a great time. Baby Axe just whispered to me that he had a great time. He felt the words were too easy, but other than that, really enjoyed the whole contest. Congratulations to both of our winners, Stella and Jillian. Thank you. I'd also like to say it's been a great pleasure of mine to work alongside my co-host virtually, the Sasha Redetti. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you, Axe. Thank you, Stella. Bravi to all. I'm glad that it was Jillian and Stella participating because Ethan and I would have been stumped you know, at the first word, most likely. It's been a pleasure. Good night and good luck. And please make sure you turn in, you turn in or tune in to future episodes, yeah, where we'll coin the toss, no, we'll toin the cost, <laughs> and see who starts first. Sounds good. <laughs>